How you doing today? Happy Sabbath. I have to tell you that every single one of these individuals that have come here were singing or doing something this morning at their church. And so some of them were able to leave their church and get here around 2. Then the other ones got here about 3.30. And then the other ones got here about 4.30. In fact, Christy on the piano. All the way from, I'm sure you came from a long place. I know, they, she lives way out on the, uh, near Riverside. And uh, so I'm telling you, we have many of our friends that have come. When I say our friends, I'm talking about all of us, right? That have come from many long distances. So forgive us for not being completely on time, but we, I promise you, you will enjoy this. And it will be a blessing. So um, are we recording already? We're going to record this thing, and then maybe we'll put it out when, when it works to put it out. But uh, we just wanted to make sure we did this special with you today. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead. They're almost ready, so let's pray together as we ask the Lord to be with us. Jesus, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you for everything you are, everything you were, and everything you will be to each one of us. Lord, be with this program as we give our hearts to you, the Lamb of God, in your name. Amen. Amen.
that cries out in the wilderness, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world. Can you hear it? These days it seems very hard to distinguish between one sound from another. What do we hear inside the busy world and the busyness of our minds and all that traffic? What do you hear? How we answer the voice is the most important decision we will ever make in our life. What we choose to do with the sacrifice of the Lamb changes everything. The word sacrifice is a word that means something different today than before. We live in a world far removed from a time when animals were gifts and offerings to God, yet it is exactly through this tradition of sacrifice that God showed people everywhere and forever just how much he loves us.
Passover lamb. No matter what we've done, Jesus stands in that gap for us. Our sins are passed over, forgotten, forgiven. As a substitute for our penalty, God sacrificed his son for us. It's not an easy thing to get our minds around. How can a person be a lamb? But by dying for us, and by dying, Jesus provided us a path to freedom from our shame, to a new life in him. But why did he do it? It's simple, so very simple. He did it for love. He took our suffering. He died with his arms open wide as if to say, I love you in spite of the pain. With his arm 
sacrifice Jesus was willing to pay such a price when I look at the cross there are two things I see the depths of my sin and the love he has for me with his arms open wide as if to say I love you come inside with his arms open wide in spite of his pain his suffering and shame he died with his arms open wide with his arms open wide he said to the world come to the cross and believe and he said to the world put out his light for all the world to see with his arms open wide as if to say I love you Wow, I'm supposed to narrate after that. So he died. Yes, he did die for you and for me. What does he want from me? What can I then give to him? All he wants, he says, is you. Come to my cross of love. See my face. Feel my touch. Accept my grace. Amazing, isn't it? Show your thanks now. Let's worship together at the cross. Jesus, I accept your invitation to come to the cross. Come to the cross. Jesus, I can feel your spirit move me to come to the cross. Come to the cross. I come to the cross of love. At the cross of love, where you gave your life, where you shed your blood, where you paid the price. At the cross of love, I can see your face, I can feel your touch. I can see your grace. Jesus, I accept your invitation to come to the cross. Come to the cross. Jesus, I can see your spirit move me to come to the cross. Come to the cross. Come to the cross. Come. 
story could have ended there. It could have ended there, but it did not. With the sacrifice and the suffering, but no, he intends, Jesus intends for us to live as free people. Victoriously, he wants us to live a life in the power of his resurrection. He didn't die for us, only he crushed death. The grave could not hold him. Just as Christ was raised from the dead, celebrate his resurrection by living a new life in him. A better life than you've ever dreamed of because he is alive. Jesus.
receive so many gifts from God. It's true, isn't it? And many says, I have something brand new for you. How about spending eternity with me in my arms? Everyone who trusts in my name will be changed in an instant. The Lamb of God becomes the glorious King. And what does he, what do we give to him? Our highest praise. Glory to the Lamb, worthy.
mic working here. <laughs> Testing one, two. two. All right, we're operational. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's give them another hand. I, I... And uh, this is, okay, in this, first of all, we've got a tempo here, which is, we're in this space. So raise your hand if you're from a tempo. Very good. That can be a little louder. I'll bring it up. I know, I know, I know. It's late today. All right, all right. We've got Temple City here. Temple City here, okay. And then we've got Inspirare here. There we go. And then they mix in between and it works. And then we've got a few living stones. We've got a few, we've got my sweetheart. We've got, but, but you know, we win because we've got Melvere. Only when he's allowed to come. But uh, anyway, and uh, it's so wonderful to be here today. And more than that, it's so wonderful that Jesus is here with us. And uh, what better way to break the Sabbath off as the sun is going down so pretty soon. So I want to thank you all. I know it was a lot of work coming out here. I know you have family. I hear kids in there, and they're having a great time, well, some of them. And, and by the way, I want you to know also with, with our crew here, we had, I want to thank the guys on the camera. We got Adam. We got Munir here. And we've got... This is all last minute, I'm telling you, because of uh, either sicknesses or whatever. There's, there's Matthew that was back there, and we've got Lenny, and we've got Algerson. Where are you, Algerson? Stand up. And then James. And uh, hey, working it out. And I want to thank also our deacons and deaconesses that made this possible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And thank you so much for beautiful, beautiful music, and I look forward to much more music in coming times. Let's bow our heads. And if you wish, let's stand together. And, um, and as we stand, you know, sometimes we Christians become very quiet about everything. You know, we have to be very quiet. I think we put a fake battery in that one. <laughs> But we have to remember that Jesus is not just about quiet stuff. Sometimes there's a little noise that's made because there is joy in being with him. Okay? Let's bow our heads for prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for bringing the joy in our lives as, as everybody's coming together. And these choirs who haven't actually practiced together. Um, thank you so much for blessing us and blessing them. And we ask that you bless the community around us, but also keep everyone safe on their way home, whether it be a long distance or short. Lord, thank you so much for dying, opening your arms open wide to show us joy and love of you gave yourself for us. And even though it was painful, there was the joy you have now to have us with you. Allow us all to make the decision to be with you forever. We love you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful rest of your Sabbath. And thank you. All right.